everyone, how is it going? Is it hard to answer the module without a teacher? Well, I am Teacher Girly Ann and I am here to help you in your business mathematics. This session will tackle about profit and loss. At the end of this session, you should be able to differentiate profit from loss and solve problems involving buying and selling products. You will be needing a paper to take note or you can also use your smartphone or laptop as inks. So, shall we begin? Imagine you are in a situation where you thought of buying a bag. So, you went to the mall and searched for some. You saw a bag that costs 800 pesos and decided to buy it. In buying the bag, you incurred a transportation expense of 50 pesos. Thinking of reselling it again, what would be the selling price? Do you think you will profit or you will incur a loss? Let's try to analyze the following situations. You sold the bag to your friend for 1,000 pesos. Will you profit or loss? How about reselling it for 700 pesos? Is it a profit or a loss? Let's check this out. The solution is as follows. Since the bag is worth 800 pesos, this will be the cost, while the 50 pesos for transportation will be an expense. And to determine the profit or loss, Subtract the cost and expense from the selling price. The formula would be selling price minus the quantity cost plus expense. A positive answer means a profit while loss for negative. Proceeding further, for the first situation that we have, a selling price of 1,000 pesos. That would be 1,000 minus the quantity of 800 plus 50. Adding the cost and expense, that will be 850. Subtracting it from 1,000, the result is a positive 150. Now, the question, did you profit or incur a loss? Correct, you profit. Since the computed value is a positive number, therefore, 150 is a profit. For the second situation, the selling price is 700 pesos. The equation will now be 700 minus the quantity of 800 plus 50. Again, the cost and expense is equal to 850. And subtracting it from 700 is a result of a negative 150. The question is, is it a profit or a loss? Correct, it is a loss. Since the computed value is negative, therefore 150 is a loss. Take note of the following definition. Profit. It is what remains of the selling price after all costs and expenses have been deducted. Cost. Means the cost of the product sold or service rendered. Expenses. Refer to operating expenses and financial expenses. And there are a lot of ways to avoid loss. One way to determine profit or loss is the use of income statement. It is a financial statement that shows the result of operation, that is, if it earns a profit or incurs a loss for a given period of time. Generally, a firm prepares a financial statement on a monthly basis. For tax purposes, it is prepared quarterly or annually. Here is a sample of income statement of a trading firm. It details the sales, 
the cost of sales, the operating expenses, and other expenses and or other income, if any. So these are the terminologies you need to know in order to fully understand income statement. We have cost of sales. It is the purchase price and other expenses incurred in buying the products that the business has to sell, including the freight in or transportation of the goods it buys for resale. Next, that we have is operating expenses. These are expenses incurred to run the business. Next, other income. It includes interest income and other incidental income the firm earns like rent income if it has a property that it rents out. We also have other expense which includes interest expense or finance charges, financial institution charge, firms for their services. Next is the gross Profit. It is at times referred to as gross margin that we have previously studied. We also have operating profit or loss. This is a gross profit less operating expenses. And lastly, net profit or loss is the operating profit plus other income less other expense. So I believe you are now ready to apply these terminologies. Why don't you try this? You are given a problem. A trading firm purchased a lot for merchandise that cost 100,000 pesos, for which it paid 10,000 for transportation. The firm sold the entire lot for 180,000 pesos. The firm incurred the following operating expenses you have there the rent advertising store supplies office supplies heat light and water miscellaneous expense and then the firm borrowed money from the bank which it paid six thousand in interest you are to prepare an income statement for the firm and we will determine if it is a profit or a loss you can pause this video and then you try to solve on your own you can write it on a paper and then afterwards you can play it again we will try to see if your answer is correct okay so now that you're finished let's check your answers so this is the solution for the given problem since the lot was sold for 180,000 pesos then this will be the sales we will subtract it from the cost of sales the lot was bought for 100,000 pesos which means this is the cost we will add the transportation he paid in buying the lot which is 10,000 pesos so we have the total cost of sales 110 pesos to determine the gross profit we will subtract the cost of sales from the sales that is 100,000 180,000 minus 110,000 which is equal to 70,000 from here we will subtract the operating expenses to determine the operating profit from the operating expense we have a total of 43,000 pesos Subtract 43,000 pesos from 70,000, that is an operating profit of 27,000 pesos. And finally, to determine the net profit, we will subtract the other expense from the operating profit since the firm paid an interest expense of 6,000, then the net profit will be 21,000 pesos. Note that the answer is... A positive number so we can call the 21,000 a profit.